Rebecca, I thought we would get started with a quick tour of the Outlook interface. Sounds great. So to begin, if you look in the very top left corner, this area is called the Quick Access Toolbar. And this is just a place where you can add commands. There's a few things already there. But if you look at the end of the toolbar, you can click this drop down arrow and add some of these features that you would use often. For instance, you might print often. So if you click that, you can add that to the toolbar. This is one of my favorite features because I can set it up exactly like I want it. Pretty customizable. That's nice. Right below the Quick Access Toolbar, you're going to see the ribbon. And the ribbon has tabs going across the top. The first tab is File. I'm going to click on that tab. Now, when you click the File tab, it takes you to what's called Backstage View. And Backstage View is where you would find options to save or print items and even manage your account settings. When you're in Backstage View, if you want to return to the Outlook environment, you would click this arrow in the top left corner. All of the other tabs on the ribbon, they keep you in this view, but they bring different options forward. So if I click on Home, I'm going to see these different commands that will do different actions. And the commands are organized into groups. So you can see the group names at the bottom. Now, some of the groups have this little arrow in the bottom corner. These are called dialog box launchers. Whoa, sounds complex. It's a mouthful, <laughs> but really it's pretty simple. What it's there for is if you have a command in mind and you don't see it on the ribbon, you can click the dialog box launcher and it opens a window with more options. I'm going to click OK to close that. So let's look at these different tabs and see what we have available. The Home tab is going to have things that you use often and you need quick access to. If we click on the Send Receive tab, this has to do with pushing emails and messages through the server. Or if you're waiting on an email and it hasn't shown up, you can click this Send Receive and it'll kind of force things along. The Folder tab allows you to create folders. That makes sense. <laughs> and these are really helpful when you're trying to organize your messages. I'm going to show you in another lesson how to create these. They're great. Good. I'm looking forward to that. The View tab has to do with all of the options that you see right in front of you. So the commands on this tab, they help you customize your view. And this last tab is the Help tab. Now, we're going to have an entire lesson just on this. There's some really great help features that are available here in Outlook. I can always use extra help. Me too. Now, I'm going to click back on the Home tab. So again, this area is called the Ribbon. This is where all of your commands live. So if we move down to the lower portion, on the left-hand side, we're going to see the Folder pane. This is a list of all of the folders in the email portion of Outlook. So you've got your inbox. This is messages that are coming in to you. And I wanted to point something out really quick. The inbox is organized into two categories. You've got Focused and Other. And this feature is turned on automatically. The focused feature is Outlook's way of learning your behaviors and organizing your message into a category of things that are important to you or people that you talk to often. That's really useful so it doesn't sort of disappear into the black hole of my inbox. Yeah, it can be really useful, but it can also be a little confusing. So you do have to click on the other view to see all of the other emails. So it is in two different sections here. Got you. So something in my focused inbox won't appear in the other inbox as well. That's right. Okay. Now, just a quick side note, if you wanted to turn this feature off, you can go up to the View tab. That's what we were talking about a minute ago on how you can change the way things look in front of you. And you can click this button here to turn off the focused inbox. And now you're going to see all of your messages. So let's take a look back over at the folder pane. We just discussed the inbox and how there were two different views. But you'll notice underneath the inbox, there's a couple of folders. We'll learn how to do those later. You've got the drafts folder. And if I click on that, I can see there are a few emails that I'm working on. I'm not quite ready to send them yet. So this is where they'll stay until I send them. You've got the sent items. This is obviously messages that you've sent. So if you need to go back and look at something or pull it back up, that's where those messages are kept. Then you have the deleted items folder. Take a guess what that is. I am guessing that's where all of my deleted messages Very, end up. That is true. We're going to talk a little bit more about the deleted items folder later and how to manage that. Got a few other folders down here as well that we'll talk about in more detail later. 
I'm going to go back up to the inbox. In the middle section, this is the content pane. So this is where you'll see all of your messages in your inbox or whatever folder you've clicked on. And then the last section here, all the way to the right, is called the reading pane. And just one more quick reminder, if you go to the View tab, you can see the options to turn on or off the reading pane here. Just a couple more things I want to show you. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner, there's a zoom option where you can zoom in and out if you need to get a closer look. Then over to the left, you see your navigation bar, and this is where you can get to the different places within Outlook. Now there is a new feature that might catch you off guard. It's called Peaks, P-E-E-K-S, like taking a peek. <laughs> so when you hover over one of these icons, it gives you a peek of what's going on in that section. So this icon is related to your calendar. So when you move your pointer over there, you can see the calendar, today's date, and any appointments that you have coming up. I really like this because you don't have to keep switching back and forth to see those things. You can also see contacts and any tasks on your to-do list. This ellipsis right here would show you more options that you can see, like notes and folders and shortcuts. Now let's take our attention to the content pane right here in the middle. This is where you're going to see all of your email messages. I wanted to point out how you can tell if you have read a message or not. And that is with the blue line that you see right over here on the left hand side. So if the blue line is there, then you have not opened or read that email yet. If the blue line is missing, then that's an email that you've already looked at. You can also see symbols when you hover over a specific message. Here you can see this arrow. This is letting me know that I've replied to that email. Okay, Rebecca, you have had your tour. What do you think? I'm pretty excited. Let's get started on this. Mm -hmm.